Well, the uh, current low oil price scenario has eroded the economic viability of a variety of mature assets in the UK North Sea and ultimately pushing them into early decommissioning. Now, to put that into perspective, when oil was at its peak at $110 per barrel, several operators leveraged on technologically um, advanced technologies like enhanced oil recovery, improved oil recovery, to first of all, um, recover a lot more out of their assets, but equally to extend the field life of their assets. And ultimately that pushed decommissioning into the future. With a drop in the oil price scenario, that situation has changed completely. There has been a complete reversal. And data from IHS Vantage demonstrates that a lot of these mature assets will ultimately come into early decommissioning earlier than planned. So as, lo as well as a lot of the assets which we're seeing today, which, would, which are currently being decommissioned, example, the BP Shahalian and Loyal projects, the Miller project, again by BP, would expect to see early announcements very soon for decommissioning studies, jacket removals, top size removals, subsea disentanglement, well plugging and abandonment. Capital spending in the UK Nord Sea reached its peak uh, a few years ago when many operators in the UK and North Sea took advantage of the high oil price to explore two things. First of all, to look at their mature assets and optimize it by means of looking at ways in which they can recover a, a, additional volumes from their, from their reservoirs. But equally, for new assets, consider taking FID on projects which in the past were thought to be technologically challenging or uneconomic. If I take the mature assets as an example, we've seen a lot of deployment by Chevron on the, you know, on the Captain project, where they looked and they took FID on enhanced oil recovery on the Captain project. But equally, BP have looked at the Magnus asset and also the Clear asset and looked at looking to take FID on that for enhanced oil recovery. If you look at the new projects then, you'd see that a lot of assets which were thought to be technologically challenging, like the Mariner project, uh, the K Kraken project, which are heavy oil projects, you know, again, were being considered for feasibility studies and ultimately FID, but equally ultra high pressure, high temperature assets like Colain and all the projects, again, in the central graven area of the UK North Sea, all of these were equally being considered for development, of course, the Cygnus asset, which has low permeability. The drop in oil price scenario has changed all of that at the moment. A lot of these assets, which were at the pre-FID, so pre-final investment decision stage, are currently being pushed back. And data from IHS Vantage has demonstrated that a lot of these assets, which are thought to be technologically challenging, will be delayed. And equally, so if you look at the Mariner project as an example, we did forecast that that will be pushed back slightly. And of course, that was validated by, validated by earlier announcements by the operator a few, few months ago.